This is TG with Tech Made Easy. Welcome to the channel. My channel is all about making things affordable, practical, and easy. And as you saw in the thumbnail, we're going to be testing this four bay Sabrent SSD enclosure. It's only SSD, no hard drives, um, no three and a half inch hard drives. And the reason why I'm testing these is that a long time ago, um, I got into this HP Mini, and I was like, how can I, how can, if I want to use this as a server, how can I really expand to get more hard drive space? And so. I started testing these enclosures. The first ones I tested were just hard drive enclosures, regular three and a half inch hard drives. Um, but I really wanted to test this one. I've had this one for a while. I just kind of put it off because I was testing the others. Now, we're not gonna just be testing this one. We are gonna be testing two more because I wanna test, I, I wanna test the performance of all three of these with SSDs. I have not done that yet, only with hard drives. Um, but this one here is a 3.0 USB adapt, uh, adapter and uh, uh, the other one is this Mata Sound. it's a four bay as well um, it's a 10 gigabit throughput though type C adapter and with the HP mini it does have a 10 gigabit uh, USB port U USB C port and a 10 gigabit regular USB port that I'll be using for for testing these and then we've got what we then we got a TerraMaster. Now the TerraMaster is a six bay. I'm only I'm only testing four drives, so trying to make it even across the board. And the reason why I'm testing the the TerraMaster, when I first looked at the specs on that, it said that it could read and write a thousand megabytes per second if you use six drive or all six drives with SSDs. So I want to see since we're doing four, I'm only testing four, but let's see the performance of those four. And we're going to test this with striping, individual drive, and in a RAID 5. Or in Windows, storage spaces, they call it parity. But we're also going to be testing this on, uh, on a Linux desktop as well to see the performance difference between Windows and Linux when it comes to these enclosures. And I think you're going to be really surprised at the performance differences between these and the different operating systems. So let's get go. Oh, before we go, I do need to mention this one here. I don't know if I would recommend this one. Um, the reason why I have these, the, all three of them, is they're different price points. Uh, this this little toaster here, this is $65. This is $160. TerraMaster is $300. But this Mata Sound, the problem is with it, is it doesn't come with any adapters to put in the SSDs. So it's a little cumbersome to try to get the SSDs into it. I had to use needle nose, needle nose pliers to kind of get them in. They're not super secure, um, but I wanted to test it because I do like this one. I like the performance on the hard drive side um, where the TerraMaster comes with everything in it to, to use SSDs in their server or, or in their... Uh, uh, in their USB bay. Now, just so you know, really quick, these are considered DAS. And a DAS is a direct attached storage. In other words, you hook it to your computer. There's no operating systems with these. You're using your computer to do it. Gives your computer expandability as far as a dry space goes. Um, you can use it, though, as a server once it's hooked up to a, a, a workstation or a mini PC. Um, so that's what we're doing is we're testing these out I think you're going to find the results interesting. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the 4-bay Sabrent USB enclosure, SSD enclosure. And it's a USB 3.0. Um, and let me just talk about how I tested this. And just so you know, I don't always like to run Crystal Disk uh, as a benchmark because really, it really comes down to performance on how you use it, and you can get way different numbers. And so for me, I I do a lot of video ripping and stuff like that, so I'm copying big files over to the server. So I really tested this just copying a 10 gigabit file and a 30 gigabit file just to get an idea of the uh, uh, the megabytes per second transfer rate, and then I tested it, you know. A stripe where I striped all four drives together to make one drive um, and then I tested a single individual drives just to see what the throughput was and then tested in a parity or a RAID 5 
so now let's just t uh, talk about the three that I'm going to compare. So when I went to compare this, I got I, I always wanted to compare the TerraMaster because the TerraMaster itself, um, they were touting that it was I can't remember if it was a thousand or a thirteen hundred throughput read write on that drive if you used SSDs. So my intention was to test this one anyway with SSDs. So it gave me an opportunity to test all three of these, and the uh, the Metasonic um, is a great price for 160 bucks. But let's just talk about it for a minute. So 65 for for the uh, Sabrent and uh, 160 for the Metasonic. And the Metasonic is a 10 gigabit throughput. It uses uh, 3.2 USB-C, uh, USB-C 3.2. And then the um, the, Mad, uh, the TerraMaster is the same USB, USB 3.1 or 3.2, but it, it's uh, type C as well. So, um, so we have our regular USB on the Sabre and then two type C's on this one and it's throughput's the same. So let's just see how I tested those. And just so you know, I tested this as Windows 11 and Linux Mint. And what I did is the striping I did with uh, Windows storage spaces. And if you're not familiar with storage spaces, that's how you go in and create a, a, either a, a stripe or, or a parity RAID 5 type of, uh, where it combines all the drives into one drive. Um, and with a stripe, you should be able to get better performance than just an individual drive. So let's take a look at the stripe on the Sabrent was 300, the Metasonic was 400, and the TerraMaster was 400. Now I expected better results in this, and uh, um, and when we get to Linux, you will see some better results with the Linux as well. And I'll explain maybe why Windows 11 or Windows itself, because you get the same results with Windows 10. But let's take a look at the single single drive performance. Remember. The throughput on these is 500 megabytes, so you really should get 500 megabytes here. Um, but we get 285 with the Sabrent, 335 with the Matasonic, TerraMaster is 335 as well. Now with Parity, when we use uh, storage spaces to create the Parity, and the single drive, I just use Windows uh, MTFS um, drive with that. So with the uh, RAID, so with Parity with storage spaces. It's kind of like RAID 5, but it really isn't, but it does give you a one one drive um, for parity. And depending on how many you do, you may have to do two. So it's kind of a little bit a mix of unraid kind of as well. But at any rate, um, only 160 megabytes per second. I, that was disappointing to me. I thought it would be higher than that. 250 for the Metasonic and 300 for the TerraMaster for doing a RAID type parity. Um, so that those numbers are disappointing to me but let's just take a look at the linux performance and let me just explain how i did linux so in the the linux world uh when, when it comes to formatting multiple drives together like a stripe or a RAID 5 you can use it with their default file system xs x or ext4 but i prefer to use zfs you zfs has been on the servers forever and it's such a great and efficient file system. Um, but on the single drive, I did use uh, Linux's default format, which is the ext4. So let's take a look at the performance issues, the performance here, and I think you're gonna be really surprised. So um, so with the Stripe, with the Sabrent, I got 500 megabytes. Um, still, I would expect more than that, but, but again, and I'll talk about why these others are faster, um, but so the Metasonic is 780 megabytes, the TerraMaster is 900, sometimes I even got more than 900 because uh, I tested these multiple times. Um, single drive on the Sabrent, 450, 500 for the Meta, um, Metasonic, 500 for the TerraMaster. Um, and, and so ZFS, they have, a, they have their version of RAID 5 and it's called uh, RAID Z1, but uh, 270, which is much better than the Windows parity storage spaces, but 270 megabytes per second, 500 megabytes on the Metasonic, and 670 megabytes on the TerraMaster. Now, if you're not familiar with, with the striping in RAID, whenever you take drives and combine them they work together so they should work faster than if it was just a single drive and so that's why you're seeing um, on both windows and in linux 
that it's faster with the single stripe and it's fat and it's not necessarily faster with parity on the Sabrent, um, but uh, the Metasonic and the Terramaster is actually 670, uh, which is more than the single drive. Which I was, which when you start putting servers together, you would see results like this. Your even your RAID 5 drive should be faster than a single single drive. But um, now let's just talk about the performance of the Sabrent here for a minute. Now the reason why this probably performs poorly when you're doing a parity raid is because of the controller card that's in these. So the Metasonic has and the Terramaster have better controller cards and plus the throughput is faster as well. And so they're able to perform, uh, do a higher performance, but the performance in Windows uh, is to me, for me, I I think the performance in Windows is poor and it might just be because Windows isn't very efficient at using the USB um, ports for this. I, I'm not 100% sure um, um, but and so I, I don't know why it's so poor but in Linux uh, we see a great a great difference um, and I use a Linux desktop myself personally I do use Linux Mint as my daily driver. Um, and so uh, I remember when the first time I actually started doing this in Windows first and I first did it with parity and when I saw this low number I was like oh no that that's terrible and I thought it was going to be the same in Linux on it but I mean it was higher than Linux so this labor this labor depending on how you're using it if you do want with parity just realize it's going to be a little slower and Maybe for you that, that speed difference doesn't make a difference. You're just storing files on there and you just want something uh, to maybe protect those files. And I'm not saying that setting up a, a unit is for uh, on RAID it does give you a drive failure of one in this particular instance. I'm not saying that's the, uh, a backup at all, but it, it does help to know that you can have a drive go down and replace it and not lose your data. What I want to do here really quick is I just want to show you the performance of the Terramaster. It's pretty incredible. Out the speed of it, it's almost at 900 megabytes. Now this is striped, it's not RAID 5, but I just wanted to show you that performance. Okay, so what I did is I started this copy already. I created the uh, RAID 5 using ZFS in, in Linux. And uh, look at the performance. We're approaching 700 megabytes. And this is why, again, why a lot of the Linux server software is moving to ZFS. It, it's not only a great uh, efficient as, as far as your RAIDs go, but it also how it protects the data and when you need to replace a bad hard drive on that recovery. It's it's great. But here we are. We're at 600. Well, we're we're getting close to 670 megabytes per second. So that is really good. Now that's a 30 gig file. So let's drop this 10 gig file in here. And, and the smaller the file, the faster it seems to get. It seems like when I tested this before, I got around 700, 750, but maybe not. Maybe it'll, it'll be the same. And that might have been a fluke that I got that much. But um, anyway, you can see the performance of this using RAID 5 with the Terramaster. It's awesome. One thing that I didn't realize is, is the performance of Windows. Uh, that kind of surprised me. And again, I was doing all these tests on the HP Mini PC. Uh, the same ports, everything was the same. Um, I'm not a daily driver of Windows anymore. I used to be years ago. Um, and so I just wasn't expecting storage spaces to perform support. Or Windows itself, for some reason, isn't as efficient as Linux running three things through the USB and onto those those drives, or those enclosures. And if, and if you were paying any attention, you would notice when I was copying those files over, that the memory got up to like 20 gigs of, of RAM. That's because ZFS uses your memory to facilitate copying those files over to the drive. And in fact, this six six uh, gigabytes here, I actually have a lot of uh, things open on my desktop and my virtual desktops, and that's what's using so much. If I click here, those are some that's some of the stuff I have open. And so, anyway, I hope that was enlightening. Um, and if you're not a Linux person, I hope that was also enlightening to see how efficient Linux is and some of the things you can do there. Um, and this is TG with Tech Been Easy. Have a great day. Thanks. Now
that was easy peasy.